Hello, this is Tori with Landio. We have 20 wooded mountain acres bordering nearly 300,000 acres of the Cibola National Forest in northwest New Mexico. The Cibola National Forest is densely covered with mature ponderosa pines. This is the parcel highlighted in green. It's 20 acres. There's a road that runs along the northwest boundary, and the north boundary borders the nearly 300,000 acres of the Cibola National Forest. This is a Google Earth terrain view of the property. There you can see it bordering the Cibola National Forest. There's the road frontage, and there's a ravine that runs through the southern portion of the property where there's these beautiful rock formations, and there was seasonal water flow moving through the property when our photographer was out there just last week. Here you can see some of the rock formations and rock outcroppings with the seasonal water flow. Flow. There are some more of the rock formations, the water flow, and this would be present from rain or snow melt, and it creates a magnet for wildlife in the area. When we look at the property on our interactive map, you can see there's the 20 acres. Right there is that path where that seasonal water flow is. There's the north boundary bordering the Cibola National Forest. If we zoom out a little bit, you can see just how vast this national forest is. All this green shaded area, that is the Cibola National Forest roughly 300,000 contiguous acres. The National Forest extends to the northwest, just outside of Gallup, New Mexico. Gallup has a population around 23,000. And then to the east, it extends almost to Grants, New Mexico, which has a population around 10,000. And then east of Grants, the National Forest continues. This is Mount Taylor. Mount Taylor has a peak elevation of around 11,300 feet. When we're talking about the 300,000 acres, that's just this area right here. And that's what we approximately measured out when we're counting the contiguous land, which means it's all connected in some way. And these are called the Zuni Mountains. And if we zoom in, I'll show you some of the terrain rain here. You can see the dense tree coverage, the peaks and valleys. We'll turn on our topographic map. You can see there's trails all throughout this area. You can see several springs marked on the topographic map. Some of these springs will actually create waterfalls. You can see the diverse terrain, the elevation changes. Some areas it's steep where a lot of these canyons are indicated, which also you can see that's where the water flows. And areas like right here where there's more of a gradual elevation change. This is the continental divide that runs through this area. What's nice about the area that the property borders is that it does have that more gradual elevation change. If you were to go over to this area right here, you can see just how steep that area is. The closer the lines are together, the steeper the slope. For example, this area right here, that's going to be very steep. On the north side of the ridge, very steep. But if you were to go look right here, you can see that just north of the property, that the lines are further apart. That is a more gentle slope. And even on the property itself, you can see those lines are much further apart. This is the contour map. The elevation on the property is around 7,720 feet to about 7,680 feet, it's roughly a 40 foot change in elevation. And this area right here is where that ravine is with the rock formations, rock outcroppings, and the seasonal water flow. There were fresh wildlife tracks and droppings on the property. And the property is located in game management unit number 10. It's in the southeastern portion of the game unit right here. And then all this green shaded area, that's the Cibola National Forest. Here's another image showing the outline of game management unit number 10. There's abundant wildlife in the Cibola National Forest. It's desirable for elk, mule deer, bighorn sheep, pronghorn antelope. And for elk, this area is said to have some of the largest bulls in New Mexico. This is the plat map with the parcel highlighted in green. If we zoom in, you can see it's lot number 160 and there's the road that runs along the northwest portion of the property. This national forest is so diverse. Let's say you wanted to go explore over here to the east. Well you could meander the trails all throughout this area and then connect over here and head to the east. There's another amazing attribute of this property which is that it has private gated access to two entrances that go into the Cibola National Forest. If we go back and look at this plat map, this is called the El Moro Ranch, named after the El Moro National Monument which is just to the southwest of the property and you can actually see the El Moro National Monument from the property. It's incredibly beautiful. And it's a publicly accessible national monument with lots of rich history and all of the landowners within the El Moro Ranch have access to those private gated entrances that go into the National Forest. You have the North Gate, which is over here to the east of the property. This is roughly 3.5 miles from the property along these roads within the El Moro Ranch subdivision. This is the North Gate. Again, that's accessible for landowners in the El Moro Ranch subdivision. All the landowners receive a key to this lock that enters the National Forest. There you can see we have the gate open. And then this is the road in the National Forest from that gate. Through the North Gate, you can enter the National Forest on foot, horseback, mountain bike, ATV, quad, side-by-side, -side, dirt bike, or similar type of ATV. And then over here, you have the East Gate. 
The east gate is about 2.8 miles from the property. If we go back to the interactive map, I want to show you that east gate. This is where you enter the National Forest right here. And you can see that road. That road runs all throughout this area. That continues on east. You can see that road again there. If we were to turn on our topographic map, you can see the trails. There's the Continental Divide again. Through the east gate, you can enter the National Forest using all the same methods as the north gate, which is foot, horseback, mountain bike, ATV, quad, side-by-side, -side, dirt bike. In addition, you can also enter the National Forest through the east gate in a Jeep, truck, 4x4, SUV, a Subaru Outback, or similar type of vehicle. I wouldn't recommend a low-clearance two-wheel drive car. And the property is only 4.6 miles from the paved State Highway 50 53 to the south. This is the paved state highway 53 also known as ice caves road and that image is right here That's the intersection of the road into the subdivision and the paved state highway 53 in this image We're looking to the south and this is from that point looking north into the subdivision There's the Cibola National Forest and the Zuni Mountains. And you'll notice that this is a private gated entrance There's the keypad all the landowners have a code that opens this gate This is also where the mail is delivered and at the entrance to the subdivision. There's also a volunteer fire station this is a road to the property this is up close to the property more photos of the road to the property and this is that road where you have roughly 480 feet of frontage along this road and that road dead ends at the entrance to the national forest which would be this location right here and if we go back to the topographic map you can see that's a trail that leads into the national forest not only does the property border the national forest but you have a trail that takes you right into the national forest from the property the majority of the landowners here in the subdivision are not going to use this entrance to go into the National Forest. They're either going to use the North Gate or the East Gate entrance. And this is the trail that leads into the National Forest. There's just this little makeshift gate that you open up. There's fencing along the north boundary where it borders the National Forest. There you can see a boundary marker with the National Forest logo on it. It says National Forest land behind this sign. There's a survey marker on the property. Another survey marker. There are some of the rock outcroppings. There's a view to the west. This is a view to the southwest of the El Moro National Monument that we showed you earlier. Here's a view to the south. There are lots of mature trees on the property of varying species and sizes. In the satellite images, you can see the adjoining neighbor to the southwest has developed their property. We zoom in closer, you can see they have several structures on their property. It appears they're running their whole property off of solar, maybe a combination of other off-grid methods. There are electricity lines nearby in multiple directions both to the southwest and the east. Both are less than half a mile away if you actually wanted to have electricity on the property. However, with the improvements of technology, the prices have come down and the capabilities are so much greater for the off-grid options that are out there. And here's a closer image of that neighbor's property. I believe these are solar panels right here on top of the roof. These are Google Earth terrain views. This is south of the property looking north. Now we're east of the property looking west. There's that path of seasonal water flow. We're northeast looking southwest. There's the El Moro National Monument. Seasonal water flow. There's where it borders the National Forest. There's the road. There's the neighbor. These white circles represent nearby landowners that have developed their properties to varying degrees. You can use the property recreationally, seasonally, or live there full time. There is an association with light covenants to protect the integrity and beauty of the area, which comes with many benefits, including that this is a private gated community. There's a $300 per year annual assessment. Now that assessment is voluntary. Many of the landowners have developed their properties choose to voluntarily pay that to help with the upkeep of the community. The minimum dwelling size if you're going to build a structure on your property is only 800 square feet. Now you can use alternative building styles, shipping container home, tiny home, earthship home, mobile home, manufactured home, a kit cabin, a barn dominium, an arch cabin. And you can see in these satellite images that people have a wide variety of styles. Many have multiple structures on their properties. And to show you what's nearby, you have the town of Rama, which has a population around 400. That's about 30 30 minutes west of the property. Over here to the east you have Grants with a population around 10,000. That's a little under an hour from the property and that's all along the paved State Highway 53 that will take you right into Grants. And then this is Interstate 40. Interstate 40 will take you directly into Albuquerque. Albuquerque is about two hours from the property. It's the largest city in New Mexico, has a population over half a million. There's also an international airport in Albuquerque. In Grants, New Mexico, there's a hospital, a Walmart supercenter, municipal airport. There's also grocery supplies, professional services. And then to the northwest, you have Gallup, New Mexico, which is about an hour and 15 minutes from the property. Gallup has a population around 22,000. This is downtown Gallup. There's also a Walmart supercenter in Gallup. Grocery stores, there's a Home Depot. There's a large hospital in Gallup. 
and a campus for the University of New Mexico. And then north of the property, you have the Blue Water Lake State Park. There are multiple ways you could get there. We mapped it out, taking the paved state Highway 53, taking you to Interstate 40, and then coming in from the north down south into the state park. You could also take these roads right here it's going to be a shorter distance but might be about the same time because these roads will cut through the mountains versus the highway and the interstate. At the Blue Water Lake State Park you can enjoy hiking, fishing, birding, camping, horseback riding. This is a photo of Blue Water Lake taken within the last week. We have these 20 wooded mountain acres bordering the Cibola National Forest. Price only $49.9. All the property details are listed here on our website. The property taxes are about $283 a year for the entire 20 acre property. Again that $300 a year assessment that is voluntary. We have lots of information in the property description. Again, you can use the property recreationally, seasonally, or live there full time. Here's a link where you can view the covenants for the El Moro ranches. They do not permit shooting and hunting actually in the subdivision itself. Therefore, people go hunting in the national forest. Here's all the nearby points of interest with links where you can find more information about those locations. Here are the GPS coordinates with links where you can open those on a Google map. We have over 150 images of the property and surrounding area. Again, the photos of the actual property were captured within the last week or so. All of the images have captions. Many of them have labels. If the property is of interest, we highly recommend that you take the time to look through all these images. They'll answer a lot of questions that you may have and even some that you may not have even thought of. And then at the bottom of the page, we have that interactive map we were looking at. We work extremely hard to make it super easy for you to purchase land. If you like this property and fits what you're looking for, all you need to do is go to our website, landio.com, navigate to the property, and look for this Buy Now button. If this buy now button is green, that means the property is available. We only have one of each property available. Only one person can purchase this property. And we sell our properties on a first come first serve basis. If you're ready to move forward with purchasing this property and that buy now button is green, all you need to do is click on it. What that will do is add a deposit of $499 to your cart. Now this deposit secures the property for you. If you've ever purchased a home, you put down an earnest money deposit. This deposit is just like that. That deposit is credited towards your purchase and then we cover all of the closing costs. There are no other commissions or fees so your total purchase price for this property is just the $49.9 and that $4.99 deposit is credited towards your purchase which would leave you $49.401 remaining balance due at closing. Once the deposit is in your cart then you're just going to click checkout. This window will appear where you can enter all your contact information, click continue to payment. On the next page you'll enter your payment information and then you'll complete the checkout process. As soon as the checkout process has been completed this buy now button will automatically change to out of stock. Again only one person can place a deposit on a property. So if you're looking at the property and the buy now button is gray and says out of stock that means somebody else has already placed a deposit. We do have the ability to accept a backup deposit Deposit, what that backup deposit would do is put you next in line. If the current person that placed the deposit was not able to complete the purchase for some reason, then you would automatically become the new buyer. If the current buyer were to complete the purchase and you had a backup deposit, then your $4.99 backup deposit would automatically be refunded to you 100%. The remaining balance may be paid by wire transfer, cashier's check, ACH, bank draft, credit card, debit card, or any combination of these methods. We make the whole process super simple and it can be completed in as little as a day. We have some customers that will pay part of it with a wire transfer and they'll put the remaining balance on a credit card or multiple credit cards. We have customers that use 401k loans, home equity loans. So there's a wide range of options that you have available as far as actually purchasing this property. If you have any questions, our phone number is on the top of every page of our website. That number is 713-597-7670. That number also receives text messages. We have a live chat feature here on our website where you can communicate with us in real time. If we're not available for whatever reason, please send us a message to respond to your next availability. You can also fill out this contact form here on our website or send us an email directly. Our email address is hello at landio.com. At the time of this recording, we only have two properties available because our properties are selling so quickly. You can scroll down here, you can see that we have seven properties that are under contract to sell, and then we have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of properties that we've sold. And that's the beauty and the challenge with land. Each property is unique, and there's only one of each property. Even if they're right next to each other, each one is unique, and land is finite. You may have heard quotes such as, you know, buy land, they're not making any more of it, and that's true. We like to think of land as an original work of art, crafted by the hand of God. And God is so good that he has allowed us the opportunity, as in land is opportunity, that we get to be the stewards of this great land. And that's a big responsibility. 
and at the same time a tremendous blessing. This is a new video we just released on our homepage. If you've not watched this video, we recommend that you take the time to do so. It's only about two minutes. It touches on our mission here at Landio and you get to hear from a few of our customers about their experience doing business with us. And it would truly be an honor to add you to the Landio family of happy customers. On behalf of myself, my family, and the entire team here at Landio, we sincerely appreciate your continued support and ask that you please help us make the dream of land ownership come true for more people by sharing our videos, our properties, and our websites with everyone that you know. Please help us bring more amazing properties to market by giving this video a thumbs up, leaving a positive comment, and be sure you subscribe to our channel and have your notifications turned on to ensure you're notified of new videos as soon as they come available. Thank you and may God continue to bless you and your family. Landio. Land is opportunity. Please click in the upper left hand corner and subscribe to our YouTube channel. In the upper right hand corner we have all of our available properties in a playlist. In the lower right hand corner we have a playlist of our Land is Opportunity series. And in the lower left hand corner we have our Landio Unscripted series.